By default, when you first open VI, it's going to start in command mode. If we want to navigate between command mode and insert mode, there are many different options available to us. We can simply use lowercase i, which will move in at the current position and start inserting text. We can use capital I, which will put us back at the beginning of our current line and start inserting text. In addition, we can use lowercase a to jump into that character, move one to the right and start inserting. On the flip side of that, we can use uppercase a to move to the end of that particular line. Or we can start a new line above or below the current line that we're at. Now, we can actually do a couple of different options, even in command mode, that will make changes to the text. We can change a single word at the cursor position, a single line, or even a single character. So there are actually very many different ways to make changes to the text. Now, generally, you'll just move into the text. We'll go back to our example. Right now, we're actually inside of our Anaconda config file. And let's say, for example, I want to change KDE to something different. Well, I'll press lowercase i. And I can insert that text. When I want to leave insert mode, I press the escape button, and I'm back to navigation methods. So as you can see, it's actually very easy to move in and out between the two modes. Now if you want, you can also use your uppercase R, and it will actually jump onto the same line and continue to replace text until you jump back into command mode. Now in addition, you have copy and paste capabilities. This basically allows you to grab the text and move it to a different location. So in the scenario that we've provided here, we can type 2YW, and it will copy two words to the right of the cursor. And then if we want to paste those back in, we can use lowercase p to paste it out to the right, or uppercase p to paste it to the left. In addition, we can use YY to copy an entire line. And prefixed by a number will allow us to choose how many lines to copy. For example, move my character. Let's see, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. A total of 11 lines down. So if I want to copy that many lines, I can simply type 1, 1, Y, Y. And as you can see, my message down here, 11 lines yanked. So I'm going to move all the way to the bottom of the file. And if I want to insert those back in, I simply type P. And as you can see, it pushes that information back in for me. So it makes it really easy to move and relocate text at the whim of a key. So this should give you a pretty good idea of how we're going to use VI in both insert mode and command mode to work with our text.